And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Wow. We're going to learn these words one day, everybody. Never. It is The Lost Tapes. Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big J. Okerson. That's Dan Soder. Oh, man, we are in a special studio for this Lost Tapes. We're in the Ben and Deb studio. Everything... That could be weird about this is happening weird right now. It's weird. We're in A, we're in Ben and Deb's studio, and uh, uh whatever, uh, and I'm sitting right in Deb's chair. Whatever I got, she's going to get it. Get it. And uh, Jacob's, I'm Jacob's just going to lick your butt, hoping to get some of Deb. <laughs> Jacob's going to be walking around smelling my ass all day. And through the window that Deb and, <laughs> that Deb and Ben watch us, we have a live view of the fugues. And what's going on over there? I mean, look Let's how he get sits. Yeah, it looks like no one's having fun. That's it just, for goddamn it looks, sure. It looks like they're giving lectures. Here's where I wish we had that like a video element. meeting radio. When I wish we had a video element to the show, because right now what I could do for the next two hours oh. is just fill in the words of what they're saying oh, over there. Dude. Where he's like, I now, like, you know, uh, let me do a Fugle saying. <laughs> Hold on, let me do a take turns doing it. Okay, that's all like, I want to do, too. I say four fingers up my asshole is about my limit. I could do five. <laughs> But now, I'm not a chubby bunny. Now, you're two African-American women. <laughs> Let me ask you, what do you feel about Trump and all of his goings on? Go. I've also brought in an odd-looking ginger. So we have both ends of the spectrum. Do you guys think I look like the guy from Showgirls? <laughs> do I look like a young, old Kyle MacLachlan? <laughs> uh, lost- if young Kyle MacLachlan was old, do you think I could play the part? I think I could get casted as an old, young um, <laughs> now, I'm a guy who likes to hire a woman to come over and put a boot up my asshole and <laughs> make me smell another man's dick. Now, it's what keeps my marriage alive. Uh, before Jay was showing up, we were Jacob was out of the studio, and Christine, Black Lou, and DJ Lou and I were having a conversation about how we're trying, we should get Jacob married. Yeah. Like, Jacob is perfect husband contender. I agree with that, by the way. If one woman who likes bad guys were just to change in like a, like a nice guy. Yeah. He'd be winning. Uh, yeah, Jacob's like, he's due for it. You do. And he would. I think whatever woman he gets, he's gonna love her so much. I, so to the hard. point where I might be, we might be character witnesses at her trial when he Scott Peterson's her. <laughs> I felt her pulling away. Because Deb reached out to me. <laughs> and I said, I have a pregnant wife I have to get rid of. I felt her pulling away and had to do something drastic. Her light is only my light. Now she'll only love me. Forever. I've extinguished her light. <laughs> and she's moved on. Hey, hey, Jacob, where's Lisa? We haven't seen her in a few weeks. She's fine. Don't ask a lot of questions. She's not, she's feeling under the weather again. Oh, that's weird, man. It's been like three months. Is everything all right? Everything's fine, please. Stop being in, stop being so nosy. Well, maybe we'll pop over later and bring her like a souffle or yeah. something. See if she'll feel better. She doesn't want anything. She's fine. She just needs to be left alone. She hates her voices, Dan. All right, Jacob. <laughs> I just want to come over and say hi. Well, they, She's not a fan of what you do. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes you have to not like her. She's never ask again. She says the 49ers suck. You're like, all right. She said you make her uncomfortable. Please don't come in. Um, but Christine was like, oh, we got to find someone for Jacob. And I was like, I'm worried about Vecchione. I got Vecchione duty. Yeah. Because he's due. Vecchione's in his 40s now. But he's due. And he's due, yeah. He's in shape. Yeah. Christine had a good point. He's proven he can be in a long-term relationship. Yeah. He's been in multiple long-term relationships. He gets laid. Like it's not. He's not a. He's not yeah. struggling for uh to get laid. But he definitely yeah. As far as a girlfriend goes, girlfriend, like yeah. a good girlfriend. Well, his last one was a number, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Plead the fifth, just because I don't want. I, I think she still has keys we, to our apartment. Did we ever tell the story that she have keys at one point? I think she still does. Oh, it's great. What's uh my favorite? It's not story? great. I've legitimately worried about coming home at night sometimes. Like, oh, she's just having like some kind of a weird like nineteen twenties dance party there. You know, it's right. a gangsters and dames ball. Ow. She was into like weird stuff like that. Welcome but, back, Dan. It's like the end of Shining. You never left. I don't think we ever told it on the show, and we can for sure. It's it, it's one of the funniest things when you when someone first breaks up and then kind of comes to yeah, you and you're yeah, trying yeah. to make them feel better so yeah. you go at them and goes yeah you know what that chick sucked anyway she's Dude. blue yeah please tell that that's my favorite vecchione and i got i got broken up with and vecchione <laughs> broke up with his girlfriend the same week last january as that blizzard that hit and that was when i was dating the wealthy girl who i got back with for a little bit but vecchione breaks up with her and i'm like you know what, man? That's fucking, that's for the best. That chick was crazy. No, did he give you, I thought he asked you, if, like, be honest with me, like, 
No, How was I, that kick? I just went off. Oh, really? He was, oh, you just he was sad. Oh, it's great. He was sad and he broke up with her and they broke up and he was like bummed out. And I was like, dude, that's the best thing. She fucking sucks. She's just going to drain your life. You were too good for her, man. You're way too fucking good She's for her. She's annoying. She's a dude. She's stupid. She slept all the time. It was weird. I always felt like I was in her way. <laughs> I just felt uncomfortable in the apartment. Two weeks later, after a set, I come home late at night holding food, and I open the door, and she's sitting on the couch with them. And you're like, hey, It's hey, one of my favorite things. And all you can think about is, like, in the action of trying to get... Dude, relayed from yeah. an old from a girlfriend you broke up with already. Dude, you don't know. how do you lower over? It's like dance all these terrible things, and I just I didn't want to believe them. Dude, that's and what I, it I is. don't believe and it. It's, I'm, <laughs> I've been guilty of that before. Where I'm like, you know, some of my friends said you suck, but I'm just like, no, she doesn't. She's great. My friends said I'm better off without you because one, they said you have an odd smell, yeah. and they just make your friends all pieces yeah. of shit. They said uh they said you just bug them. All my, most of my friends said they got a vibe that you were trying to fuck them. I never saw it, but. But they said, Mike Vecchio, when he, when you came over, he used to say that, like, when I go to the bathroom, he would try to fuck him. Is yeah. that true? No, I believe you, baby. I believe you. You're so great. I don't believe him. Oh, God. They said that you're just, like, using me and that, like, you'll probably leave me for nothing, but I don't believe it. And then once well, it who gets said serious. That specifically? <laughs> yeah. And then once it gets serious Tim again. Tim Dillon said that. Oh, and then you're like, but don't, don't judge him. Once it gets serious again, yeah, you gotta go. Listen, don't get mad at him. He was probably just trying to make me feel better. He's, sure. He didn't have to go and say you were, like, protecting. ugly, but he was just trying to make me feel better. Yeah. He said, uh, when you have sex, it sounds like a retarded person's being sawed in half. Yeah, but that's like, he was just saying that to make you feel better. Don't take he that was, personally. Listen, I think honestly, he probably just thinks you're really hot, so yeah. he probably just trying to make yeah, he's gay, but I bet like he just likes you because of your hair. Like you have very soft looking hair. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough one. And then they broke up for good, and I was like, thank God. I, and then you have to double back, because they break up for good, and you go, is this for good? And you go, yeah, and you go, because I meant it. And we talked, the first stuff. And we, and we talked yesterday about like, the, the freak, you know, the confrontational, yeah. I think you're generally pretty good at it, but even that's too much for you to handle. Oh, dude, I'm not good at it. The best one No, is you're great at it. The Joe DeRosa thing going on right now, oh, which yeah. is fucking fantastic. DeRosa, <laughs> as like, we've announced on the show, we're all very excited that he's thinking about moving back to New York. Yeah. I thought it was a done deal. Yeah. I thought he even had like a, a thing in the works of like a, a great apartment in some way. Yeah. He talked to somebody he knows who does some real estate stuff that was like, he said it would hook him up. And then I got a call from Joe <laughs> asking if... He could possibly rent out my spare room for yeah. for like yeah, half the year, but like he'll pay rent all year. And my immediately I go, yeah, yeah, I'll talk to Christine about it because I didn't want to say no on the spot. But then I did exactly what we said. I went, but you know, you should actually call Vecchione and Dan though because I know they got that extra room that Dan used to stay in, and that would probably be even better for you. That's honestly. perfect. I mean, like, close to Laguardia. I even I didn't tell you this yesterday. I even said they probably wouldn't even charge you as much as you're telling me you'd pay me because the room's like a little smaller and they probably wouldn't even care anyway. It's like those just dudes, you know, they're single dudes out there in the world trying to have some fun. And then I'm headed to the camper meetup <laughs> in Austin, and I get a call from DeRosa. He's like, Dan, so what's up with that room? I'm like, Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. You shut him down immediately. I was like, mm, no, nah, dude. I was like, there's no, there's just no room. If like, I called Joe back and said, all right, dude, so first of all, what I'm going to say is Christine absolutely shut it down immediately. I go, I tried to convince her that it would be a good idea financially and but just kind of for fun. Christine. I even did give him that. I even gave him like the, oh, dude, because Joe goes, and you know, I won't even be bothered. You know me, man. I'll, I'll either be in my room or I'm out and about. And I go, and it would be fun. You know, we could watch like, you know, movies together sometimes. I kind of miss sometimes Mike being there for that reason. I'll talk to Christine. So I really set it up that Christine's going to be the one that shut it down totally. I love it. And also ask our other friends. That's how you got to lead with it. Is he's got to fucking, got to put it on the girlfriend. To find other people to blame it on is one of the best feelings when you have that scapegoat. Until you bump into that other person you blamed it on. Jay, that is what Isabella's for. What? Oh, the that blame. She, that her room. Oh, it's, it's Isabella's it's room. room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Isabella's room. Well, now you know. Now you know. Now I know how to do it. Now you know how I'll to be do like, it. Christine, but you got to wear this I'm going to be like, Christine <laughs> didn't really want you there, and then she reminded me that it's also a room for <laughs> you. Like this. I, I would have looked for a pass of the bell and, and absolutely put you in that room. You could double down on the hero and go, um, yeah, Christine just doesn't want you to live there, which sucks because I think we would have had a lot of fun. Also, you know what? Uh, I just this came to me, Isabella. I gotta have you know. I gotta have her she in the room. Me. And if you're there, and I yeah, her to stay there, it's you get it, dude. You know. It's too much. But I'll tell you what, you know, who does not have any kids. 
Vecchione and Dan. <laughs> I think Soder, I mean, if you put the heat on them a little bit, I, I think Soder's just thinking a little bit at, rashed right now. Yeah. He's just thinking too much right now. He's, he's in the negative space. But if you catch him on the right day, dude, I bet you're in. Dude, I would be, I would go as far as, as to say Soder might move back into that room. You could probably get the big room. <laughs> yeah. If you talk to him about it, you could probably get the big room. Uh, yeah, he told me he's like Tom Hanks in Castaway and he just sleeps on the ground clicking the light because he's not used to windows. So you could probably get right in there. He said he hates all that natural sunlight. He says, first off, the breeze at night bugs him. He says he likes being just coughed up in that little casket of a room. He said he's pretty concerned about overdosing on vitamin D. Mm-hmm. So if you can actually just cut too much, you'd be doing them the favor. Yeah, that's that's a weird place to be in, so I'm glad we got, you know. Oh, you cut it right out, though, not me. I went right. I mean, I've I've let people borrow money just so we don't have to have this phone call anymore. <laughs> so great. I've done that. <laughs> yeah, you know I've done that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, can we not talk about it anymore and just I take just, some money, please? Just take, how much money does this cost to stop this here's, conversation? Here's why I need it. Things are bad and stuff is rough and I could use, I'm like, here's just money, please stop. I told Trish <laughs> one. Stop calling. I, I did that to my own, so I did that to my own mom. <laughs> she called me and she was like, it's just, the water heater went and I'm, Dan, it's, I, and I'm like, shut up, shut up, I'll send the money. I I don't know. How much is it? 600 bucks? I don't know. Just, I, okay. Can we stop talking about this? I get to reorganize my life and the way I handle things in some way for some reason. Nah, man. Even, uh, you know, uh, listen, we said as, you know, when we did, uh, when we were busting the balls on Bennington's Thanksgiving show yeah. about Fenoya, like I did get the Fenoya call this weekend. I felt terrible. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I, I got to uh, fess up. I'm the one who told him. Who told? I didn't tell him. I played him the tape of Fenoya. Of you, of the I played Fenoya the audio of uh, you guys on the Bennington show. Wait, what? so you're his friend randomly who called and said this to him? He, Is that how he said it to you? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. It was presented to me. He goes, he goes, look, a guy unrelated to comedy completely. <laughs> no, I swear to God, he goes, a friend of mine hit me up. He goes, and he went, wow, did you hear the thing on Bennington they said about you? He went, Oof. He said the person who said to him went, went, ooh, man, I don't know. It sounds like you might want to go get <laughs> What did you do to us, Lou? Whoa! I wouldn't say I'm unrelated to comedy. I work with comedians. Yes! I think he was trying to protect he you. He was. He, he was. was lying. He was protecting me. And oh, I really man, we should call. That. We should call him up. Oh, hell yeah. But not have, like, I'll call him. <laughs> and be like, dude, hey, who told you about the Bennington thing? Because, like, Jay's worried he really fucked you up, man. Like. It were, he's super worried that you're really worried. upset so, dude, <laughs> about that. I mean, uh, I definitely... T- what did you say to him, Lou? Well, I tried to... Did you get fucking... Did you become Stu and then start telling him? He goes, <laughs> you know, I know I love you, but people hate you. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, Dan Soder used to get frustrated. I'll show you. you know, dead you, rat. Do you know... I'll t- let me tell you how funny that is, exactly, too. Oh, Lou, you <laughs> set yourself up beautiful. And by the way, very admirable that you fessed up, and I'll tell you why. Goddamn right. You do have character. In the conversation, though, let me just say the things that happened happened yeah because he needs an explanation of course why well why is the joke even there at all and i go well because look me and you live together we've yeah. got a million and one things that you know we know our day-to-day mm-hmm. you know i said if vecchione came in a lot you and vecchione got like a day-to-day that i'm unaware of yeah so i said i think dan just felt sometimes that he was getting like looked over i was like how hey, we changed the way we used to stand in studio 12 Wait, I'm sorry. to uh, kind of suit maybe for those who haven't heard the bennington show could you explain what oh so was? on Absolutely. the bennington show it was a newlyweds game on the thanksgiving episode of the bennington show and jay and i were two of the uh, participants and one of the questions that they asked jay where i was isolated and they I were actually the there. winners by the way they yeah, set we, us off they, early because they, they were trying to get us off me. they wanted us to get ready or me to get ready for the uh, comedy jam yeah and yeah, we won. I mean, if you listen back, we answered the questions. They were the correctly. only people that had the that had the right answers. Yeah, uh, Rich and Bonnie did, but they wanted them to win, and we all know that. Um, but one of the questions that they asked Jay was, "Who well, does?" Everybody. They asked everybody, uh, uh, everybody on the panel. But I'm saying the question that you answered that I didn't answer right. was the question was, "Who would you not? Who would your co-host not want on the show?" No, I, the, the question was, "Who do you?" And the phrasing of it was set up to to infuriate. By the way. It said, "What? What's a guest that you love having on the show that your partner absolutely hates having on the show?" <laughs> so he made it extremes. Yeah, and and Jay said, uh, "Fenoya, Mike Fenoya, who's you know co-host and been on the show a bunch, a bunch." And uh, when I got back up there and they're asking the question, Jay just goes. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. <laughs> and it went right to me, and I went, Mike Fenoya. And then the fucking place lit up, and everyone was like, he got it! 
Well, and also, and much, I, uh, much more important, and, and very more important to the to the way it, when I when I talked to Mike after this, what happened after that was Bennington then says he goes that's true for every radio show in America. <laughs> now, yes. Bennington, which Mike was able to understand uh, ultimately, was. He would have said that for whoever we put filled in the blank there. But I said, if, that's what so I said wait, to him. Let me ask you guys this. Is Fenoya sore about that I guessed it? No, because we prepped him for I, that. I talked to Fenoya. We both prepped him for that. And, and I, I was like, dude, listen, like, I answered that because the reason I used to get frustrated with Fenoya when we first started the show and Fenoya would come on was he would step on what I was saying a lot. So it got to the point where one time there's Jay, I go, hey, Jay, listen, man, like, I love Fenoya, but we got to either talk to him or tell him something because he's stepping all over my fucking sentences when we start. And this is well, three, I also I also told him two and a half years ago. I told him also that uh, that the thing is, like, you love him as, like... A co-host for me. Yeah. Like I said, when he co-hosts for me, it's great. And then also, I think through time, like when he comes in now, there isn't a thing anymore. It, Not it, at all. It was, it was going back. We've had great episodes with him. Of course. It was just hilarious. I think it Mike was just the, fun, the funniest answer and that makes he's, sense. He's, he's also, in the family of like, so everybody, everyone, rather, if I said, uh, we don't like having on the show and I threw out some name of some guest we had that was kind of like bunk that, you yeah. know, like, like, cause it was a comic we don't know very well. Yeah. yeah. Or something like that. Versus saying that wouldn't have made a lot of... It would have been funny to the audience. The audience knows Mike from the family yeah. of people that are up there. Yeah. He was on Kumia Network. He was, you know, he's on yeah, our show. With Chris Stanley. It's Chris Stanley yeah. and him have a thing. Right. I oh, yeah. I forgot the, about that. I think Mike might be our most used guest 1, and guest host ever. Ever. Oh, absolutely. He's got the most so, appearances. Yeah. So it, I it's think... like all kind of ridiculous and in good fun. Yeah. Although this has already happened. Uh, our guest host on Tuesday will have not been Mike Fenoy <laughs> right now because we can't have him in. We can't have him in, and then he hears this show the, like, two days later. So great. So, so he's but, uh, like, wait a second. So anyway, he calls me yeah. after I, I'd already spoken to him and told him about the, like the kind of the joke of what happened. Yes. He was fine. All right, amigo. And I'm going to go back to bed, but I just want to let you know I'm a little sore. So here's where it really stings the last conversation that we had, now knowing everything <laughs> that Witsky fucking got stewed and threw us under. <laughs> That's totally what happened, too. Yeah. That's totally what happened. Dude, I know you had fucking, you were at the cellar bar, you had a couple too many, and you go, you should have heard what they said uh. about you. You guys fucking rubbed your bald heads together. Yeah. You, oh man, fucking you guys were talking about shaving techniques of your head. Get you know, over here, Whitsky. <laughs> down and craft. I mean, yeah. hey, amigo. Hey, nuts, not, nutsack power. And you guys clunk your heads together. I don't know why they would say that about you. You're such a nice, genuine guy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, comrade. Let's top. Let's touch top a dome. <laughs> you don't understand jam bands like we do. Let's talk about oh, this. Oh man, what's your so, favorite fucking riff? That's what happened. He got. He fucking. Mikey Granola, yeah. right into his fucking heart. Yep. Not so, Mike calls me and he says, you know, and I was like, it was also one of the things I was doing 30,000 things that day, so it had to be like, hey, let me call you in a little bit, let me go. Yeah. And I could tell from like whether it be the text or the whatever is that it was like, hey man, I just want to talk when you get a chance. I'm like, fuck. Uh, dude, it's, it's, like, a, it's the same energy as girlfriend, you're in trouble with your girlfriend, where she's like, when you get a second, just call me. And you're like, what's up? And you're like, what's up? And he goes, I don't want to do this over text. Oh, not, like, oh shit! Yeah. It's, oh shit! Yeah, it's not nothing. Nothing bad. Just call me because I think we need to talk about something. And you're like, what is something? I hate it. Are you angry? Not angry no. so much. Like, oh shit on me! Why? That's not what happened. This but. is a good way for me to deal with my loneliness. Is just to talk about this, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not actually that lonely. It's like, fine. It's fine. Okay, so, great. I don't have to worry about those texts. Was Vecchio going to text me that? Can we talk about what? My delicious iced tea taking up too much room in the refrigerator? <laughs> Back your box head ass up. <laughs> so you box head motherfucker. So... Mikey called, or I called him back. <laughs> By the way, this I is him. the perfect song for this. Say you love I love, me. I love the thought of Fenoya crying in the shower like her in this music video. Oh, and, Mike, and Mike's like, uh, he's like a, got a pretty like muscular build. Oh, yeah, he's got a great back. Yeah, so Fenoya, so you just see him like in, under the shower with the water cascading <laughs> off his bald head with his head against the wall, though. Oh, maybe even pushing his hand up on the wall and pushing into his traps oh. so they're all flexed. One up. knee bent, one knee straight, just like Atlas. Oh, man, looking like fucking... Season two of The Shield. Oh, Chickless in The oh, Shield. Oh, Chickless when he got on Men's Health and Fitness? Yeah. That one year of Chickless being in shape? One year hot Chickless. Remember that one year? He's like, I'm going to 
gonna play the I'm gonna play the rock thing in Fantastic Four, and after that they're like, dude, Go just back. be the commish. Yeah, can you be back to the commish? He's like, let it go. Grow that stupid Picard hair back and just be fat, please. Yeah. Can you be fat? Did there, uh, where, where's her crying in the shower? <laughs> I don't even know if is that happening yeah, right there. Oh, it's hilarious. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's why I referenced the video. Oh, could you imagine singing while some guy's sucking your tits in the shower? <laughs> Christine, is that even a thing? Would you be whining about somebody else while Tay Diggs is finger blasting you in the shower? I think I'd be all right. Yeah. Keep the oh. shampoo out of my gash. I Got a very sensitive lady, a minoris and majoris. <laughs> um, so he calls me and he goes, hey. He goes, hey, buddy, he goes, a friend of mine, I swear to you, a friend of mine, unrelated to comedy, <laughs> very hard stress on that, unrelated, unrelated to comedy, uh, called me up, he goes, and told me, he goes, hey, did you listen to the Bennington Thanksgiving yet? And, and I, I was, said, I was, no, I was, why, like, no, I was like, no, but I heard, you know, I heard, I know the joke, and he goes, you didn't hear it yet? Because, I mean, whoa, like, you might want to listen to it. And I was like, oh, shit. And it did seem like the thing he was more upset about in the moment was the Bennington comment. Yes. But still, it was that thing where it's going like, so I'm a, I'm, I'm a good for a co-host, but, like, Dan never wants me in the studio. And he's, I'm like, no, dude, you can come no, in. Yeah, Mike, yeah. whenever you want to come in. First of all, if you ever need to come in to promote something, of course. Which we've done all the time. And we've done you, it more than once with and Fenoya. If, since this has been even, like, a running joke. This thing happened when we were still studio twelve in Opie's studio. No, it was Studio 12. Remember, that Fenoy coming in was why we changed the standing order of where we stood. Yeah? Because I was in the middle. It was you, me, and then our guests. And you said I just had my head turned the uh, whole time. That's, that's, when I, that's when I implemented the Soder Triangle offense? Yes. That's when we started doing the flying, the, <laughs> flying, <laughs> the flying V. v. <laughs> Guys, Jay, I need you to flying V. You're like, go, let's go. Let's break it And in. go. Break. And break. So he called me, and he was just... Bummed out, and I never even overthought who this friend was. I thought maybe, in my own narcissism, that he had a friend unrelated to comedy that really just enjoyed our show. That's I wanted so to hear what right. we were talking about. Dude, I love a fic- I love a Instead, fucking- it was Benedict Arnold, one of our own. I love a straw man, but then when the straw man turns into an actual person that's just sleeping in our house, the call came from inside the house, Lou Witzke. Lou, what happened? Uh, he was in my office studio. He did a show. I and, and he was and just he, bumming. He brought it up after the show was over, and he says, "He's like, what exactly did they say?" I tried to explain it, but it sounded like I was covering for you guys and double talking. I'm like, "Do you want to just hear it?" Because I don't remember it being that bad. Yeah. And when I played it back for him, he got sadder and sadder. I'm, he's like, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, what are you gonna do? You gonna get him, give him a call, and get that rock out of your stomach? He's like, "I don't know. You think you know people?" I felt so horrible. I mean, when it, I should have just lied and said, I don't know what you're talking about and left the room. The text I got was something like it was, I didn't realize it was even a quote. Cause I, don't, I forgot oh, what, God. I forgot what, I, <laughs> he said you a quote. I forgot what Ronnie said. I forgot what Ronnie B said and he wrote back, he goes, Mike, he goes, nobody wants Mike Fenoy on their radio show in all of America. Like dot, dot, dot. Wow. And I was like, well, I go, who said that? Oh. I go, who the hell wants that? And when I got back, he just kind of told me the story. I was like, oh, Jesus <laughs> H. Christ. And then he brought up Chris Stanley again, and I was like, look, I don't know. Uh, look, my, Ron Bennington, I love. <laughs> yeah. I love Ron Bennington. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, family. And Chris Stanley, I love. I think they're yeah. great guys. But Ron Bennington will ride a bit until it's like, which is one of the things awesome about him, like with radio. He'll run the bit. I still have no, I still believe Fez Watley hates me. Yeah. Because <laughs> Ron, and every time I bring it up to him, I go, does Fez, like, did he really leave hating me? And he's like, I don't know, pal. He doesn't ask about you at all. You know, he like, <laughs> he's like, I talked to him a lot. I brought you up, but he doesn't even want to talk about it. So, he says he I, never brings you yeah, up. Yeah, he never brings you up. You ask me about him a lot. He never brings you. And like, That's so and, and I love that. perfect. It's part of his personality that I love. So too. the Stanley Fenoya beef runs on. And so I, I'm saying to Mike, I'm like, I don't fully understand. For people understand. who don't know, there is a thing between where Chris Stanley and I, it, from, so, from Bennington. Fenoya had asked. About coming on the promoter's album, I believe. Where she came on this show and promoted with both Jay and I, let the record show. Live in Burlington, available Live. on iTunes. I there mean, after probably about, I don't know, 17 phone calls, 25 texts, and then me eventually giving Dan a couple of dollars, we let Mike, <laughs> Mike, we let Mike Fenoy come in here and does, promote his thing. <laughs> does Paola exist in small increments? <laughs> yes. He goes, well, Jay, uh, before we bring Fenoy in, let me just ask you this. 
How much is it worth for you to get this bonfire promotion? I think it was like, uh, you know, ever since four days a week, it'd be real nice if I came into the office one day and there was an eighth of weed for like, me. Uh, just put the hand down. Yeah. Um, he goes, that's cool. I you lay, know, I, I lay 20 in your hand. You go, ooh, $20 for a promotion on a show this I go, big? I, no, you lay, you lay the 20 and I go, so you'll just be promoting it, right? You won't be in studio. And then 30 more and I go, I can't wait to see him. <laughs> he goes, I'm very excited about this album. I'm excited he's coming in. Well, this is great. We'll get to promote his album now. <laughs> oh, goes, you know, have goes, him he, in he to goes, promote his goes, album. He's like, yeah. I'll be, I mean, I'll be quiet about it. I mean, you want me to get behind this album? <laughs> For $50? I go, 75 And I can tell you this, 100 I might even tell people I'll be at the recording. <laughs> he goes, For 100 bucks, I'll tell people I'm the first download. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he was super bummed, and I'm so... So crazy to find out. I like Lou goes, he goes, let me just play it for you. And then just sitting there while a man gets sad listening to it. Uh, and says the same. Hey, baby, I wrote a song about you. Why do you keep stepping on my nuts? Dude, I mean, is this about me? Is, yeah, 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 it's about Lou, you. Lou played Fenoya a clip, and then his quote was, you think you know somebody. That's a hard thing to say. That's something you usually say when you're staring over a body of water. You're just like, you think you know somebody. Oh, God. <laughs> Mike just takes things in. He just took it too hard. It's a yeah. joke. Of course. Ron I get it. I get with it. With like the ongoing joke of Ron, like he will keep the bit running. He'll also throw a little like kindling on the fire every once in a while yeah. and walk oh, away. Sure. So, it, you know, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. I mean, it was a joke. It's hilarious. No, it's great. It's fantastic radio above all else too. But Jesus Christ. That happened with the wealthy. That phone call, but he didn't. I'll tell you what, Lou. Fenoya's got your back. And now I'm worried that you don't have our backs yeah. and only have Fenoya's back. Well, now that I know it's a two-way door, I don't know if people can come in and go out. Well, I was going to warn you guys and say what happened, but I didn't want to ruin your weekend, so I just figured we'd address it today. Out is- Please look how Fugo sang sitting. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's just sitting there with his hands in the prayer thing oh, in front of him. Man. What? Like this, like an evil man at the end of like, He's the- making great faces right now, too. I mean, he really is... I mean, a guy who's just supposed to wear sweaters. Yeah. He's your guidance counselor. That's definitely a guy that sleeps on a Japanese bed for no reason, just because he spent a summer in Tokyo. He looks It's actually very good for the back. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) Shut up, you fucking dildo. He looks like an emotionless therapist, doesn't he? He's like, well, I I mean, look, legally, I, I have to report this to the police. That's our time, but I will say this. If you're thinking about hurting yourself, I will have to involve the authorities. Also, yes, a doctor patient confidentiality, unless extenuating circumstances make me feel that you're in trouble. Um, and I said, that is the tardest lemon tart I've ever had in my life. You are <laughs> truly. What if a it's the exact character. opposite? What if he's like, he's like, all right, I want the ginger on top of the one black chick and the other one masturbating in a corner. I've paid for this. Do it. He goes, and the extra from making a murderer to my right. Oh, I almost want to call. Fenoya on the phone right now yeah. and get him and say that Lou Witzke has exposed himself. Yeah. I, that's what I wanted to As do. a shooter on the grassy knoll. Should we call him on, see if we can get a hold of him on air right now? Yeah, Absolutely. Fucking air right. Okay, hang on. Let me call him. Silent assassin. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I was just looking up his number. No, why don't we call from uh, Lou's phone? Well, no, he'll pick up then. Oh, man. I'm not mad at me. I didn't say anything. I'm not mad at you. I look like I know. I'm going to give out Lou Whiskey's personal phone number right now. <laughs> <laughs> call Lou Whiskey. Tell him what you think. I also feel like we have to mention uh, when this Go. airs will be Jay's 40th birthday. Yay. That's right. Happy Today is birthday, my birthday. Jay. Hey. It's hey. The greatest day in the world. Hey, you know what I'd love for my birthday? One day not being low-bridged by my very own crew. That would be so fantastic. Hey, I never did that to you. <laughs> Wait, what does low-bridged mean? Uh, it cut out the knees. Undermined? Undermined. Um, yeah, I hope we can get him on the phone. What are you That's doing, Jacob? Just hitting redial on your... On your booking line. <laughs> I guess, can we call you on air right now? <laughs> this would be fantastic. I hope he does it. Why was he in your office so much, Lou? What was going on? Yeah, there? what are you guys doing? Are you guys playing a new show? No, he was taping his show. He was doing a live show. That didn't concern me. What are you guys doing? you guys starting your own show, The Kitchen Fire? I don't know. I'm not in comedy. I have no idea what you guys do. Well, that, let's talk about Mike Fenoy about that, Mr. Not in Comedy. <laughs> I just want us all to be amigos, like my friend Mike would say. <laughs> 
I thought we were amigos. <laughs> I, I couldn't be amigos with everybody. So there was a s- dissension in the ranks. And the sad thing is, if I didn't play it for him, the audio, he would have never found out. What's he, that? He, he would have never known. Oh, uh, yeah. You want his number? I got oh, it. You got it? Oh, of course you do, oh, Lou. I bet. I <laughs> bet you do. Yeah. Why well, don't we check Lou Witzke's call log to see the three-hour conversation they had last night. He's both late in He's bed. He's like, anyway, Mike, I got to go. He goes, these jerks are going to be here in like 10 minutes, and I got to set up their fancy personal headphones. He goes, the ill crew. <laughs> the ill crew. <laughs> the gross girls are coming in. I got to change stuff oh, up. Did he say yeah? No. No. Right. <laughs> We're just calling him? He goes, what's up, everyone? Oh, he's not going to know the number. Oh. Yeah, he might not pick it up. Or as Fugle sang, we call you guys the cool kids. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, Fugle sang tweeted that you guys are the cool kids. You remember that? He said, oh, He Jesus, said about man. what? What an unlikable face. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He looks like he goes right from doing politics to go talking about Justin Bieber farted on a bus today. We've got the video. <laughs> about what? Oh, oh, you know about what? Call him. Drop it. Drop it. You know about what? You know about what? Call him. Take the call. Take the fucking call. Just write, take the call. (laughs) You know about what? Take the fucking call. Write, take the call. Be there. Oh, James Taylor is great. Got an amigo. (laughs) (laughs) Call out my name. If you've I also, got I actually some also, crunchy <laughs> jam. Can we also tell him that uh, Joe DeRosa is moving into his old room? Yeah. <laughs> uh, say that at the end. Save it for the end. At the end of the phone call. <laughs> well, we might as well get ready for it since when this does air, we're going to get our phone calls from Joe DeRosa. <laughs> uh, DeRosa is going to be like, damn. So it did say, but Soder also said there was a small chance. I never said there was a small chance. Did you not? No. You just gave him right out of the gate. Like, no, there's no way. Oh man, man. I told him I, I lived in that apartment by the time I was home for eight years, and it was fucking rough. I did, our apartment went from two people to three people, and now now it's back to two people, and it really is like it's a lot already. It's it's. I mean, there's no way we could do it, but it is so funny. And he gives even when somebody gives me every out. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Don't feel pressure, dude. Say no." Right yeah, right then you can go. You're right, dude. You know what? I just don't think we have the room. I'm sorry. Not me. No, nope. I was already giving decorating ideas. <laughs> you go. Like, I'm like, dude, if you paint it the way you want, it goes. Throw my stupid pictures out. There's a piano in there, but fucking, we'll we'll find it. Well, I'll get a storage place. You start for coming it. up with fictitious I'll get storage for it. You start making up things that you're gonna do as roommates. We're like, dude, we're gonna start traditions. I did. Like, I did. I told you. I was like, I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have somebody around too, to some point where you could like, you know, watch movies and stuff. We just line, you know, we're both around. During the day, and should be kind of fun, yeah. right? Have a buddy there. Just <laughs> oh, I think Jacob, Jacob's talking for Noya into getting on the air. <laughs> they just want to explain it. <laughs> what if, I mean, it's a pre tape, so can we put it on? We're attacking Lou. It's not live. <laughs> Why is he like, so worried to come on a like show? Like the one side of Jacob. He wants to talk to you first. I <laughs> mean, do that. Just tell me, take the call. Take the call. You're a comic. Take the call. Hold on. God damn it. What? Oh, look at the piece of paper in the back of Fugle Sang's jeans. Isn't it frustrating? <laughs> that he has a cheat sheet. Should we tell people we saw him sexually harassed? <laughs> I was just going to say that. I was going to say, should we blow that up? But that's just fucking, fucking Matt Lauer him? Oh, yeah. He's on? Mikey. Yeah. What are you hey, worried buddy. about? Why would you not come on the phone with us? Why don't you want to come on? Why don't you want to talk to us? I wanted to know what it was about. I had no idea what it was. You know what it's about. I'll tell you what it's about. Fenoya, you know exactly what it's about. I'll tell you exactly what it's about. It's about our quote-unquote friend slash yeah we found out we got a turncoat in the mix now i'll give you this the turncoat oh you know who the goddamn turncoat is (laughs) yeah you know exactly you know who your supplier of information we started telling the story i said the story about you know hold on real quick let me ask you a question mike (laughs) who who told you about the bennington thanksgiving show you both did. No, but, right, right, yeah, right. But then you said someone else told you about something that we didn't tell you about. A friend of mine did that mm. listened to it. Mm. A friend that listened to it. What's your friend's mm-hmm. name? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It rhymes with stew. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> we right. found out who your friend is. That's why we're calling you. And once he told us, once once Stu told us that he's the one that uh, that played it for you. <laughs> as soon as he told us that, we saw. I go, oh shit! We knew exactly what happened. Yeah. Stu got a little. What twisted. happened? We knew that uh, Lou, Lou, Lou got a little a, stewed. Yeah, we got a couple cocktails in him. And he's like, I don't know what's going on with these guys, but listen to this. Listen to this mean thing. Oh, yeah, he went, I he love there right now. Oh, oh, is he here right now? Oh, yeah, he's playing the boards. He's the one playing the clips. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Why don't I just play it for you? Yeah. No, it was funny because it was I didn't listen to it, and then you guys both talked to me about it in different, you know, whatever. And then I was at the studio doing Andy's show. And so this was, was through Merkface. Stu, Stu was there, <clears throat> and uh, we were talking about it. And I was like, yeah, I didn't even listen to it. I wanted to hear it. And he was like, I could cue it up if you want to hear it. And then we played it, and then... Wow, wait, way that? to make him work for it there, Lou. Yeah, you really threw it away. God, if you were our wife, you would have just sucked off the pool boy. No questions asked. You yeah, where was your ago. husband last night? He was home all night with me. All night? I mean, I don't know. Why don't you just, like, you want to look at my home footage of me being by myself all night? Yeah. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't like Stu was like, yo, you got to hear this. It wasn't like something like that. We were just hanging out in the studio, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll listen to it. So I had to listen to it. And I was trying to defend it or, or explain it, and I wasn't doing a good job. So I'm like, hell, I have it. Let's find it and listen. So you went from him just being upset with me and Dan to now he's upset with Bettington Show also. Way to go, Lou. Oh, no, no. There Way to go. No, no one's upset. Come on now. No one's upset. No. It was, I, but Lou got you upset. It. Lou likes to see you upset. You know what he's doing? He's doing that move. He's does that uh, Can I tell you what, Munchausen tell you by what proxy. Said? Yeah. Can I tell you what, Lou? And, and, and Lou, right, you were like... What you said was you were being like nice to me, where you're like, I don't know. I hope they were kidding because I don't. We we never hear anything like that. Lou, what the, the fuck, Lou? Oh. Of course we were kidding you, piece of yeah. shit. Lou, what are you shit no. starting? Mike, what the do you think? The defense is wrong. Wait a minute. Whoa, I'm not throwing Lou under the bus here. I'm oh, Mike, what's wow. your plans? What's your plans with Lou? What are you guys gonna do? I'm Just gonna... fucking put on two fish songs and drive to Mexico? Yeah. What are no, your plans together? I'm cover band. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. We're starting a Temple of the Dog cover band. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna. You know it's what? gonna be. I'm going know, hungry over and over again. I know this might be a bit, but God damn it, please do. <laughs> yeah, please, God, start a Temple of the Dog cover band. I really like to see that, and I mean that sincerely, like a hundred percent sincere. I say you don't have one person in the audience, but the person in the audience would have been Lou. <laughs> Dude, if, it look, if it looks like old Cornell and old Vetter shaved their heads and started Temple of the Dog, Mark Chase Andy will come we see us. Really, we do really look like a moving company. Yeah. Oh, oh that. Great. So we were just worried that you were upset because Lou, uh, you know, had a moment of power and, and hunger and wanted to hurt you. Hunger power. Uh, no, it's more of kind of like, I think it was kind of like prefaced to me that like, it didn't feel like kidding to the maybe who was there. And that's when I was like, oh, no, I mean. I knew when you and Jay both told me, I mean, fucking, I don't give a shit. What, if, you, if you're breaking balls, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love it. Yeah, you. I know, but I, this way I, feel, I feel like Lou. If I'm not getting my balls broken, I think something's wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like Lou approached it, though. He's like, he's like, yeah, they were just breaking your balls. I mean, I think yes! they were. That's I mean, not, yeah. I, like, you didn't have our back. He was like, I think they were kidding. I mean, I don't know. I mean, those, those guys, guys sometimes... You know, they, you know the mics are off, and I hear stuff. I have stuff. <laughs> you know, what, what do they have? He goes, just he goes, the big headed one's a monster. Just pure, goddamn monster. Well, you know what? It, it's definitely, uh, you know, I definitely don't want your job so <laughs> Yeah, I never thought you did. He goes in the big. He goes. I don't want your laugh. I don't want your laugh. <laughs> yeah, Fenoya, I never thought you did. Mikey, um, we got go, to think that we got to go here in a second. We have to go here in a second. But um, yeah. how uh, Joe DeRose is calling around asking people if he can move in with them, sort of. <laughs> and uh, who could? He's asking if he himself can move in like half year with people. Uh, he called me and I turned him. I turned him over to Vecchione and Dan. That's not working out. But how much we thought? How much? How annoying would it be if we just moved into Rosa five months after you move out? He goes, anyway, we're back in the roommate biz again. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Um, I should warn DeRosa. 
Yeah, that's true. In fairness, that is true. You're what if you and DeRosa moved in together? If DeRosa and Mike? DeRosa. Oh, wow. You would I kill don't him. want your life. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you move in with fucking Dead Rat and his twin? There's two of them you guys can fucking Benedict Arnold each other with, you sons of bitches. Three bald brothers. <laughs> Three bald brothers. Mikey, you are loved on the bonfire. Yes. Yes. You're allowed. Yeah, you're you. welcome anytime to promote and hang. I, of course I want to be here when you're here. You son of a bitch. And now. All right, cool. It, it, the lesson learned here, I guess, is. Never DJ tell Jay De- anything in secrecy. DJ- <laughs> that's exactly what that was. DJ Dead Rat? Well, no, this came. Lou just fessed up. The guilt got to him. Yeah. I'm usually such a big mouth. This is as long as I could hold it in. <laughs> wow, really, Lou? What were you worried about? That you pissed them off or me? I, it, the whole thing just went to shit. I thought it was going to go so much better. I thought I was helping everybody involved. Instead, I was <laughs> shitting on everything. I he, goes, listen, he, listen, he goes, listen, he goes, listen, he goes, he goes, I know you've heard a lot of things about your chick possibly cheating on you, but how about if I just show you a video phone goes, picture of her sucking my dick? He goes, is that going to hurt? that make it better? He goes, I'm, I'm kind of like pushing it through. You know? He goes, oh, and then I know what you're thinking, this is probably the worst, but how about if I told you Jay and Dan came in and started fucking hauling off on her too? Yeah. And it was just jizz and ball sacks of all your friends all over your chick. Anyway, hey, just don't say I said anything. Just wanted to lend a little clarity to this situation. Mikey, you have a great day. I love you. Everyone loves you here at the bonfire. You You have nothing to worry about. I love me, too, and I got nothing to worry about at all. (laughs) That's the kind of positivity we love. We're going to take our first break. We love you. We'll talk to you soon, and we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Black Blue. I thought I thought Dead Rat was playing his fucking bar mitzvah mix. The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. It's the Lost Tapes. Congra- Big- Congratulations, Michael. You're a man. <laughs> Oh, you're so big and tall now. Oh, Look at you're you. so strong. You're becoming such a little adult man. Yeah. Um. Good. Well, I think we solved every problem. We're awake now. We are awake. We're awake now. That's it. We know now. We know that uh the combination of Lou, DJ Lou, and Mike Fenoya is nothing short of savage. Savage. They are savage boys. We're awake now, Lou Whiskey. You are savage. You treat, you treat us Pussy. no good. You take us. You wake us up with air horn. <laughs> I don't like it. Dan uh, and Jay are very mean to us. They came here. We weren't even supposed to talk about that because we came in all hyped up for the whole week to dip back into Dippolito. We're dipping back into the well. Dip. <laughs> uh, if you didn't remember. If you don't remember, uh, what's your first name? Diana da- Dahlia. Dahlia, Dahlia Dippolito. Uh, we found out about her on an episode of Cops where she hired a man to kill her husband, and that man was a cop himself, so they set it up. Uh, she, the noise that Lou plays is her fake crying when they found out that when the cops told her that her husband was dead. It does sound very much like a dog whimpering. I mean, uh, watch out Meryl Streep. That yeah. was great. That was unbelievable. Watch out. So this is the 2020 we were watching where basically the 2020 on ABC, they try to make it look like she's not the bad guy and that her husband that she tried to murder, a.k.a. Mark Vecchio. <laughs> I mean, understand here, by the way, that she's a bad person who, she's tried, a to, shithead. who tried to do a terrible thing because you're going to hear this guy talk and you're going to be like, who could we hire to kill this guy? <laughs> But I'm telling you, it's not it's not the right thing to do. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, we'll tweet out the video if you want to follow along at home. Uh, where we left off, I think they were still painting her as the whore with the heart of gold. <laughs> uh, Mark Vecchione was engaged, or he's married, and then he left his wife for a call girl who was Dahlia Diapoli. Who was, wait for it, Dahlia Dahlia Dipolito. So yes, this is a a hooker who this guy left his wife for. Who tried to then have him murdered. Yes. And ABC's trying to paint it like she is... um, A victim of some sort. Yeah. Because I think one of the excuses that we we talked about already was that they're just fame whores, and they thought this would get him onto a reality show of some sort. Yeah, Not so much the, the, the number one reality show, the news. Yeah. <laughs> they go, what's more reality TV than the oh, late night news? Channel 4 News. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Uh, so Channel. let's hit play to see where we're at in this. As an escort. Well, I didn't meet her in church. That's obvious. Um, uh, 
needless to say, you know, I, I was married. I made a bad decision. I, I called an escort, and she came. That's okay, love, so bro. Blew it out, blew that back out, and knew I had to get on one knee, you know? Yeah. What, uh, you ever pay for pussy so good you want to marry her? Well, I did. <laughs> I mean, the guy's got the thinnest eyebrows. He has no eyebrows. They're, they're almost going. He looks like Alex Murphy. <laughs> yeah. Like a RoboCop and they took his helmet off. Yeah. yeah. He goes, yeah, yeah. Detective Alex Murphy. Yeah. Lewis, come over here. I'm trying to fix my aim. <laughs> my, um, anyway, I married an escort and I only eat baby food. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he does look like they got shaved off while he was sleeping on a frat house's couch. <laughs> yeah. Dead or alive, Dahlia. They're coming with me. <laughs> yeah, they go, oh, dude, he fell asleep. We fucking totally took off his eyebrows. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> I miss you, Roman and Sierra. Why do you hate us? They'll uh, be back. They'll be back to us. <laughs> they have to. Yeah. It's true You just got to wait it out. It's like any hot chick thing. Wait for her to show a couple flaws, a couple wrinkles, a little sag in those tits. Then you strike. She'll be back. <laughs> Shut up, Jacob. He's <laughs> solemnly saying it's been two and a half months. We get it. I don't care. We're not, anyway. I mean, they're not going to unblock us. Everything's dumb anyway. This is stupid. Did they block the bonfire on Instagram? They blocked me. Not me. I'm still getting boners. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah? You're still boning up? Yeah. They, they blocked you, Jay. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know. Lou probably reached out to them and told them all the things we were saying about them. Yeah, Lou, Lou probably sent them the audio clip. He's like, hey, listen, I know, anonymous tip. I know you guys are uh, thinking about coming into the studio, but... Uh, by the way, there's a million of these girls, by the way. Yeah, I know, but this one hates us, and that makes me love her even more. Ooh. All right, let's go. What do I do? It's just a video of her walking. Yeah. It's like all you need, though. She's grown up so much since we've last seen her. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's a woman now. Gowns. She wears ball gowns now. In her four years. Yeah, the comments really are just the best. I just love you, got, I know. He's got, oh, yeah. The most beautiful oh, thing, sweet. I saw the eyes of my love. It's lit. How does this not... Talk about being a woman who should be afraid. These comments like, I love you forever. Yeah, weird. Perfect. Oh, Pure gosh. beauty. No words needed. Fruity oh Mixie's, Fruity Mixie's hilarious though. He's like, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a fucking idiot. All right, let's get back. Go. She's the most beautiful thing. I saw the eyes of my love. Yeah. No hey. words needed. Just, I do my speaking with my blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I, my canvas will be her face. <laughs> my brush. My knife. Let's go. Uh, let's go back to other dipshits. Uh, Dahlia, Dapolito, and Mark. Dapolito, the Dapolitos, and Mark Vecchione. Paying for pussy so good, he got down on a knee for it, bro. Not have been exactly a fairy tale romance, but Mike says he fell for her regardless. His name's Mike. And just too, a few months later, really he got divorced, up. and they wasted no time. Five days later, they were married. Good. good. Why rush into the marriage? Why say? Okay, your divorce is final. Let's run to the courthouse and get married. Because if we weren't married and I killed him, I wouldn't get any money. Because that's not how insurance works. <laughs> insurance works that you have to be married to the push to it. Oh, for you guys don't remember, she talks like she's already, like she's yeah. walrusing two cocks in her mouth at the same <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah, she has like seven marshmallows in her face. Love it for even. Yeah, she yeah. She's in the interrogation room, but she doesn't realize. And they're about to bring Mike in. Well, you know that for a fact? That's where we're up to? I remember. You, I remember. I'm pretty everything. sure that's true. We did go through all this. They got her back. She's told, uh, yeah, outside in the parking lot, and then she thinks she's there being consoled. Yeah, she right. thinks she's there to, like, you know, give her statement. Does anybody not like this guy? Would anybody want him dead? She's in his room. They haven't done the reveal yet. So back no, it up. We haven't seen any of them in the room yet. She just stared at him. Um, she says she didn't know him. Oh. And then? So it's the cop it slash fake killer just came in. Oh, my God. He's alive. Police have another surprise for Dahlia DiPolito. Here, please. Come here. Mike, come here. Now, I've seen this before uh, myself. I've never seen this. I've dug in this story. This is... That's what she does. Come here. Dude, she treats him like a golden retriever. Chicks are so awesome, though. Like, she so believes in her hotness in her entire life. So this is what's happening. Jay, explain, and then we're going to watch the build up because you see her go from I'm being consoled to I don't know what you're talking about to here's the cop. Yeah. That's that, you know, is the murderer. And yeah. She's a little confused and she still goes like, I don't, I'm confused. <laughs> so this is, and they go, really? Like, here's a video of you guys talking to each other. She goes, that's no. She goes, I, I see everything that looks like me. That's not me. I don't have a Then. Like that. 
they bring in her fucking husband. Yeah, Mike, a.k.a. Mark Vecchion. And her reaction, which you'll hear here in a second, and it's worth me telling you, though, so you know what you're listening to. Yeah. Is rather than going like, oh, my God, thank God. Like, trying to maybe throw a, a, a Hail Mary. Yeah. Of like, oh, my God, thank God you're alive. She goes, wait, what? And she's like, Mike, come here. Come here now. Now come here. Come uh, here. Like really trying to do the, don't be crazy. Don't try to get me arrested. You're being crazy. Come here. Oh, there's nothing we need worse. to talk now. There's nothing worse than the girl, when when the girl's mad and you're trying to be cool. And then she goes, you're freaking out. And you're like, I'm not freaking out. I'm being cool as shit. And she's like, why are you yelling? Stop yelling. No, it's the it's the other side of it's that. The other, oh, it's the other side of where it's like. It's, she's doing, she's no, she's caught red handed. But rather yeah. than just go, it's like, oh my God, I'm a piece of shit i'm fucked yes she starts like going the command of like pussy that she knows she has over the world because she's like a hot chick and yeah, yeah. She, and she got just, paid for it she just goes like it's enough come here come stop here it. now like Down. stop you're drop not it. gonna have me arrested this is ridiculous mike come here drop it come here now drop the i'm ball. sorry sure drop i tried to ball. have you killed it's enough stop it do you want do you want dinner then stop it <laughs> i will put you in the backyard let's just go to our favorite place for dinner and stop it stop it yeah, there it is. <laughs> we know the cops are acting. I can't let you see the What about Dahlia? <laughs> Amidst all of that tremors and shaking of her body, there wasn't any real tears coming out of her. Oh. No real tears? The, the screaming, the bending over. Like, there. I'm sorry. I think I sweat out all my fluids in the gym. I'm sorry. I had a real hard day of cardio. <laughs> uh, also, Nancy Grace is there, that fucking pig in a wig. Uh, I can't stand that twat. And she was crying. Someone just thought, oh, man, I wish there was sexual harassment claims against Nancy Grace. Oh, that nut buster. Yeah. She's probably thrilled about this. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. You're safe. You're safe. By the way, Dahlia's in character. She's giving it everything. She's fucking Daniel day lewis in this role. She's writing down the interrogation room on the wall before they come in, like, for a good time call. Yeah, she's all, <laughs> I, need, I need to know if I need to start the biz back she's up. She's like, Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing the Van Halen symbol <laughs> yeah. on the table. Can't you get your wings, Aerosmith. <laughs> Aerosmith. 1976. Sorry, I'm a bad girl at heart. <laughs> Established 1976. <laughs> Rock out to cock out. What's up? <laughs> He's not dead? Crazy. Another recorded moment. Are you sure that you don't know anybody who want to kill your husband? You wouldn't want to kill my husband. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, I hate that we have to break this up. Absolutely. What's happening right now? Is it going through her head? She's kind of like, wait. This, <laughs> do you know this is rem- reminiscent of? Yeah. Do you know the feeling? I've tried to describe this before. Yeah. Almost every night when I do two headline shows, mm-hmm. at some point on the second show, you start telling a joke. What happens is the the the, yeah. the order of operations is you start telling the joke before you even worry about the reaction of the audience. In your head, you get a little ping that goes, "Did I tell this joke already yes. on this show?" Because I may have told it on the last show. Uh, yeah. Did I tell this joke already? Now, what you don't realize you're doing at first until you, this becomes like a thing for you. Yeah. What you don't realize is that's already affected the way you're saying it. You're you're half stepping now. So you're saying it a little bit different than the crowd. Is not reacting the way they normally react when you tell the setup even. So you know? now you start throwing the whole room out of whack. So now you're like, you're like, I have told this before. And, and you, I have, I've never done it. Yeah. But you're like, I have told it before. And then the whole thing becomes like, you're a little more guarded with the way you bring it up. Yeah, you go. You're like, so, you know, anybody else ever experienced something like that before I get into this? And yes, wait, never... wait for somebody to be a friendly face to go like, uh-uh, dude, dude, you've done this already. And that's where she's at right now. Feels like He's like, you wouldn't want to kill, I hope, right? And she's like, did I say oh, shit? No, she's just like, yeah. oh, shit. And she's like, <laughs> is this like, this isn't. Like, there's no fucking way that was a cop. I gave him $5,000 and sucked his dick. Yeah, she goes, and I, I just sucked his dick because I was just bored. That wasn't even part of the deal. There's no more games with you and I. Now we're going to get down to serious business. I want to know if you know this guy. Come here. They bring in Officer Witty Jean. Witty Jean! He's a hitman from the car. Hi, I'm Witty Jean. I play hitman, and I also play <laughs> slide guitar. You may know some of my work is false hitman. I'm also guy at gas station. <laughs> I've also played such Air roles. Marshal. Delta Force Extra. <laughs> 
And I was in uh, Little Women. That's just a weird <laughs> thing. I got roped into it, and I had the costume already because my wife and I go to dinners, which are themed. <laughs> and at home, I like to work on sport bikes. Uh, all kinds, Kawasaki to American. But nothing's more relaxing to me than doing some pond fishing. Anyways, <laughs> I got to go. I am working another case. I get to play a clown. Dahlia, you were a pleasure to work with. Can uh, I say? You, you listened. You reacted. <laughs> Acting is reacting. Everybody knows that. Your range, I felt like you were in the moment at the moment. <laughs> Great job. Too bad you're going to go to jail. <laughs> let's get to this. Uh, let's get to that. So let's get to when. Uh, yeah. When Mark Vecchione comes in, yeah, and then we'll take our break. Okay. No. You've never seen him before. I've never seen him before. She just stared at him. Um, she says she didn't know him. And then call it a resurrection. Oh my God! He's alive. Police. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, by the way, that cop is the best. That cop, whoever goes, oh, he's alive, because he's like this. Goofy bitch. Like, hey. You know, the whole time he's like, I hate her. And then like, goes, I he's like, Jiminy Christmas, look who I found. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, you believe in zombies? Oh, Whoa, hey, Walking Dead, right? Oh, oh wait, where's the holes? Oh, I guess he ain't dead. Oh, I should have told you, I flew around the world backwards a bunch and brought your <laughs> husband back. I <laughs> Superman the globe. <laughs> I Superman the globe and brought your dumb husband back. <laughs> Lois Lane's car got out of that wreck. Yeah. And your husband's back. <laughs> I've only used my powers twice. Oh. Alia <laughs> DiPolito. Here, please. Come here. Mike, come here. She sees come her here, husband. Please. And he's live. The show Cops captures this moment as well. Come here, please. Come here. <laughs> Why not? I didn't do anything to Mike, come here, please. What? Please. You're alive? Please. What? Please. I'm drowning in my own spit. <laughs> Please, someone come away my chin. Please. <laughs> my shirt's going to be see-through if any more spit gets away. I've gone, I've gone full slug. <laughs> I'm full slugging. Mike, please. I'm slugging out of this chair. I'm slippery. <laughs> the whole room is slippery. <laughs> no, it's fluids it's in her <laughs> neck creases. <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> oh, fuck. I love that moment. And I I'm love so it. I seriously it. flick my bean to that. I get a nice big old cucumber. I jam it in my puss. <laughs> Does everybody like my Rachel from Friends cut? Uh, my barber, who I will say is a gay man, <laughs> said I look sexy. A gay man. A gay man. <laughs> who I do think murdered his lover. That's going to be another episode of mine. <laughs> You're going to jail today for solicitation of murder. You're under arrest. I didn't do anything. Did you hear what I just told you? You kept saying, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Was that all you could think of to say? They were <laughs> accusing me. Okay, this is just going to make me fly off the handle. We have to take a break. I was tripping over my lips. She goes, oh, no. When I said murder, I meant burgers. I want, yeah. burgers. I want you to burger my husband. <laughs> All this time's pissed. I still haven't thought of a good replacement word. <laughs> burgers. Burgers. Such an easy command. <laughs> At one point, I said I tried to have him furthered, which, <laughs> and then I couldn't think of a good fake definition for it. So I just kind of locked up. So I just kind of... Just and held the burgers. Good news, kids. Uh, I burgered him. I burgered him. Let's take, uh, we're going to take a break and then we'll be right back. Got some lost tapes right here on the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I just want to keep dancing. That's all we have to Oh, hell yeah. I thought that's what we're doing. I thought we just committed to that. A straight up dance off. Dance off. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. These are the Lost Tapes. Indeed. It's Thursday. It is Thursday. Thursday. Uh, when we last checked out, we were... Like, we had to pull ourselves away from watching Diala Diala La Dalia. Dalia. I'll never get her name right, and I refuse to, because that lispy idiot got caught trying to murder her husband. Yeah, it's like, bitch, you can't say it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I can't get her last name. It's a fito. So when we left, uh, he had just walked back into her life, the husband that she thought she had murdered, and she was giving him commands like a golden retriever. 
Come here. Come here. here. Come here. Sit. Enough. Come here. Drop Roll it. over. Drop Roll it. over. Red tummy. Red tummy. Pink belly. Red rocket. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's sucking that dog's dick. <laughs> uh, let's go back. It's called The Woman in the Video, if you want to look it up. Also, you can go to at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. Oh, Nancy Grace. Oh, you love that Nancy Grace. I fucking hate her so much. Why not? Yeah. All the way, also, her husband, a.k.a. Mark Vecchione. Every time I see a picture of him, I'm like, he has to be related to Mike Vecchione. Oh, somehow. it looks like it, right? I, I, last night when I saw Vecchione when I got home, I almost I wanted to... I sh- he runs through them. Yeah, exactly. He looks like he's like, yeah, my brother Mike's got a temper. I'm the cool one. <laughs> I'm the romancer. Please. Please. What? You're alive? I love that moment, and I'm sure a jury will too. Ugh. You're going to jail today. For God, you almost want right. you almost want Dahlia Dippolito to get off just to piss off Nancy Grace. Yes. Nancy much- Grace is so hateable that she can be on the side of a murder victim and you choose the killer side. Where you're like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. This lady seems like she deserved to get murdered. Come on, Dippolito. Come on, baby. <laughs> don't you want to kill your husband? Yeah, just watch me jerk off. <laughs> I'm the husband killed. <laughs> I've got Israeli commandos that don't murder them. <laughs> Did you hear what I just told you? You kept saying, I didn't do anything. Please, I didn't do anything. Was that all you could think of to say? They were accusing me of trying to have my husband killed. And I, I mean, I, her mouth moves like it's on ice. <laughs> it's I like, mean, I'm sorry. You literally pause it at a lisp. I mean, it's yeah. just hilarious. Just... <laughs> uh, that ABC News crew is about to get a Big old shot of spit out of that <laughs> mouth right there. That's yeah. what I fucking realized. Mike was the person I thought he was. Don't make, don't make me mad or I'll spit on you like that dinosaur from Jurassic Park. <laughs> that was the day I found out that Mike was bulletproof. <laughs> I didn't know I was married to Superman. <laughs> Didn't do anything? What about the hitman? What about all those tapes? <laughs> Dahlia's never answered questions about her version. How do you explain what we have all seen and heard on those videotapes? For the first time, she will. Say Take with- oh, she just breathes heavy. She's like... <sighs> Ah, no, I had to try to have him killed. Are we cool? We're back from commercial? Fake news. <laughs> fake news. It's all fake news. What not me. We have you on the videotape. You're wearing a hat. No, that's just the liberal media trying to say that. I'm trying to say they with collusion. <laughs> I don't even know. I would never collude to have my husband murdered. <laughs> I didn't do anything, and I didn't plot anything. Police I didn't. Say she thought she'd gotten away with it. She's now such an idiot. Few hours after Dahlia DiFilippo was is. caught on camera. <laughs> Dude, Black Lou does a perfect impression of it. He does a perfect impression of it. We were, I was sitting in here eating, ready for you guys to get off Bennington, and he just did it, and I was like, wait, Lou's not at the sound. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> I think it's... I mean, he's yeah. dead. I mean, it, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Black Lou does a perfect deal on Del Apolito. That's what, he goes in the Central Park on Sunday. That's how he gets, that's how he catches white girls. Yeah, and they, <laughs> he puts that out there. Oh, yeah, it's his bird call. He goes, is, is there another bird in trouble? He goes, oh. oh my god, that sounds like a former Carl girl's in trouble. <laughs> she said her husband might be murdered. Go back to the video. We went five. It's an unbelievable case. on camera trying to hire a hitman to kill him. You know what's great is when they show just uh I love when they show just a mashup of all the pretentious local news guys where they're like, she's in trouble for murder, but not for what you think. He goes, do you hate Mondays? Well, so does this uh, couple. Ever had a mistake caught on tape? Well, this lady did. <laughs> I have to smash my penis to come. You ever find out someone's not who they think they you thought they were? Having if that person was a team of federal agents. What if your wife's plotting something against you? And I'm not talking about going to your mother-in-law's. <laughs> Coming up, Diapadulabadulito. And I. A newlywed in Boynton Beach, Florida. It's such a Florida thing. Problem, rut row, the hitman. Is a cop. I mean, Nancy Grace is such a fucking asshole that it, it's snarky. She's, a, you know, what she reminds me of is Duke from Rocky Five, where she's like, "Hit me," just like that oh. kind of like, "Hit me and I'll sue." I bet she, I bet a man has never made her come. Oh my god! <laughs> and I bet she criticizes him. She goes, "Is that what you're gonna do? Is just come all over me and not finish the job?" Like, I mean, it's. 
It's not all you. I'm a difficult cum, but I mean, you ain't even got it going a little. I didn't know I needed more sideways. I thought I needed deeper in it. <laughs> my Nancy Grace is just my girl, Dr. Phil. It's great. Yeah. It works. It just, it does work because they're both utter pieces of shit. Someone described our show as a impression contest yesterday on Twitter. I'm like, that's not a contest. I'm, I'm trying desperately to keep up with your impressions. But I'll tell you this, I'm slipping dog. That's okay. No, you got a good man. I'm here to lift you're, you. You're bringing heat. I'm here to lift you up. And it, what it is, is it's a impression duet fuck face, whoever wrote that. Yeah, he was definitely being a fuck face. Yeah. I could do that video over and over. It just... God, this is just going to end the episode of us trying to fight Nancy Grace. Oh, we'll get her. You will see how determined she was to have Mike DiPolito, her husband, killed. Prosecutor Elizabeth Parker tells oh, the jury. Yeah. She talks like an open micer. Dolly DiPolito, for the record, is like, you know, essentially a hot, yeah. tiny chick with like big fake titties. And like, yeah. She's a Florida escort. And the lady that's getting the prosecutor is just a fucking meaty oh, fucking wa- Waffle House manager. I mean, a real like semi pro softball catcher. Yeah, she looks I mean, like she's in the pocket. Yeah. And she's like, I'm going to prove that this little bitch doesn't deserve nothing. And just for all you motherfuckers out there, no, I'm I'm oddly flexible for my size. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a generous lover. <laughs> this bitch charges money. Hey, what's up? My name's Joan. I'm about to go. I, go back to the prosecutor. I'm not afraid of butt play. Yeah. I'll pretty much do anything. I'm a, I'm a sex mercenary. Drop me in and I'll do whatever it needs to take to get done. <laughs> I bet we can find out yeah. more about that prosecutor. But also, the thing I want you to, to rewatch her clip, watch this clip of her because she does have open micer energy where she goes, and my intention is to prove that she wanted Mike DeLapolito murdered, her husband dead. Yeah, so, so, okay, that's my time. What are you? Are you guys married? <laughs> How long have you been married for? Uh, okay. You ever had try to have a murder? All right. Oh, so this is going great. I like when they keep acknowledging it yeah. to you. So this oh. has been good, huh? Oh. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I'll go home trying not to kill myself now. Uh huh. Uh-huh. All right. Let's bring your MC back up here. All right. So what's? Oh, I guess he, oh he's in the bathroom. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Prosecutor oh, who's left on stage. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh man. These also, t- just I'm going to say that we're going to let you know that she did some really bad things and deserves to be uh, punished. Oh, so, Tom, thank God. Hey, uh, Tom, thank you. Thank you very much. We're in the middle. Follow me on Twitter at local da prosecutor chain. <laughs> Um, you go- buy my seat. C- I'm selling my CD out in the lobby. It's it's more of an EP. Oh God, follow me on Instagram. For you, <laughs> confusing, <laughs> really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I mean, they found every there it is. they found every great lisp word for <laughs> super duper confusing. <laughs> and <laughs> Sagitt- <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> I was having a bit of flatulence that day. Here she is. Here's her open mic. Was to have Mike DiPolito, her husband, killed. Prosecutor Elizabeth Parker tells the jury, don't be fooled by the so, petite. Now I, uh, more I uh, live with uh, cats. and uh, and um, Dating's hard. And so my mom calls a lot. As you can imagine, I'm uh, I'm uh, 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 I'm uh, uh, close to my mom. <laughs> and um, and living with cats and then my mom. So you, you can probably, um, uh, uh, um, uh, you can probably I, um, uh, guess I'm single. So, uh, yeah, sorry, fellas. That's guys- right. This uh, who, this fuck factory is, uh, who, is uh, shut down. Did you, guys, I, uh, did you guys watch the news? Um, <laughs> it's North Korea is, what are they, crazy? It's like, yeah, you ever met my mom? She's like <laughs> Kim Jong-un. Okay, I'm going to let your MC get back up here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Her in church is great because she's like, I've never sucked a dick. I've never even touched a penis. <laughs> Scheming, plotting, would-be murderer. She has no guilt, no remorse, no concern for the safety of others. Really, really strong evidence. It's it's not often that you get the crime actually caught on tape. Oh, now, man, that thick, neck, watch- that thick neck that uh, thick neck prosecutor is so excited oh, to put yeah. this girl away. Her fucking... You think she's all big-titted and hot and a great chick, right? But guess what? She'll fucking have you murdered. Not like me. I'll make you breakfast in bed. I'll eat half of it on the way up the stairs, so I'll make sure I make one and a half breakfast. Hope you like video games and blowjobs, because that's all we're about to do. I'm going to make you waffles and suck your dick. Oh, my God. Do you play Goldeneye? You want 
to do it after you're done fucking my butt? Yeah. <laughs> you're a nasty boy. Anyways, and don't worry about calling me back. I'm cool, like a friend. <laughs> yeah. Just call me late night, bro. Yeah. Whenever you're around, I just need to get one out. You know what my two favorite words are? You up. <laughs> she goes, I'll fuck, no commitment, whenever, wherever. I'll pay- fuck you behind an auto zone. Yeah, that's the Dan Soder special. Pay for my Uber? I wouldn't have it. Yeah. I'll ride my bike over there so I'm sweaty and sexy. Right? You're like, what? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to bike over a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. Get it all mushy down there yeah, for was, you. Yeah, I'm an Omaha 6 and a, <laughs> and, a, and a Dayton 4 and a half. But my effort's at 11. Dippolito? I'm coming for you, yeah. brother. Oh, this <laughs> spring, Deanna Dapolito. All right, uh, let's go back to this. What was her motive? You know, here's a, a, a new bride. They've just been married. Why? They say love is blind. The motive, according to Parker, I is hate simple. Whenever they fucking what a what a hack court thing to say. They say love is blind. It's like what are you reading song lyrics? But is it? Yeah, every rose has its thorn. <laughs> He's just doing song lyrics. And this guy just got pricked. Yeah. Ah, opening statements <laughs> from the local DA. His money. She even convinced him to transfer the title to his quarter million dollar condo into her name. Ah, pussy and she whip. wanted another man. A former boyfriend named Mike Stanley. Oh, man. what me with fat face. <laughs> quarter million dollar condo sounds so much Bigger and better than, than what it actually is. A two hundred and fifty thousand dollar <laughs> condo. You go, yeah, I got that condo for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Probably a fair <laughs> yeah. price. Oh, and you can come check out my one eighteenth million <laughs> condominium I just purchased. I just made a quarter of a million dollars. Oh, two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's heated by fire. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, there's no appliances or anything in there. I blew all my money on the actual place. So she had a different boyfriend. Go back to his picture. She just really likes fucking dudes who look like they were cool in high school. She likes a guy that doesn't want to buy a large shirt. He wants to stretch out a medium. Yeah. <laughs> it was, oh, oh, there he see, is. You see my areolas pop more. He goes, don't. When you have the shirt start as a medium, the large contours are nice. But she can't you, got really a, see. you got a nice ribbed medium sweater. <laughs> I kind of want to pull out the lines in between them. You have anything with a... Like a a high short sleeve, but there's like a skull on each sleeve. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we keep thinking this girl's trash, and then she just keeps getting worse. It's impressive. All right. Boyfriend named Mike Stanley. Mike He's Stanley. Construction. Dahlia's been texting with him, Parker says, and the texts seem damning. Boynton Beach detective Alex Moreno reads their ex Short stop for the Florida Marlins. Yeah, look at this detective. is gorgeous. Yeah, he's going to steal her away from everybody. She's like, I just want to murder everybody and just run away with you. He's like, I understand, baby. I'm a very handsome detective. <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm a handsome detective. Can I read your phone? That's how, that's how you got the text messages. She goes, sir, I guess. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, absolutely. There's a bunch of PLs and Ps in the yeah. middle of all of her sentences. <laughs> sorry. I, sorry. So this, uh, I think she uses voice text and this is just absolute gibberish. Uh, I'm pretty sure she, uh, hard, she scrambled the fucking wiring of this Apple phone. Siri didn't understand. <laughs> Siri, what's the weather in the summer? Florida. <laughs> Is it sunshine or flowers? I'm here to prove that we have a set over the about my pure innocence. I'm sick of my husband. <laughs> he transferred his quarter of a million dollar apartment over to me. <laughs> but don't worry, Mike Stanley is getting the hat back with me. He's got his own money. I just wanted to get some of this guy. He's in construction. He's a foreman. <laughs> uh, look at, let's go back to <laughs> handsome detective. Do you want my hot, tight body all over you? Oh! Oh! Dude, handsome detective reading the sexy texts. Is Wait, the who's best. that from? Which, is that from her to him? Uh, I hope it's from him to her. Uh-oh. I know because I want to have my sexy body all over you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be great if I took my sexy body on yours and laid it down on your sexy body. What if we make a sexy body sandwich? And then my dick and your pussy. 
collapse into each other. Like the meeting of a mind. Like the meeting of the mind. <laughs> Dude, sexy detective reading the text. Go back just like, uh, I'm getting yeah, the text right from my guma. Yeah. He's like, uh, they, they light candles when sexy detectives take the stand. He goes, I want to oh hold God. you in my arms <laughs> and make love to you until the sun rises. Yes. First generation Cuba. I am Cuban. Would you like me to make love to her the way they are describing in the text? <laughs> I can on the evidence table if you are like. Your Honor, if I could possibly show you, I will do it on the DA. Yeah. I am okay with a the larger DA. womb. Yeah, he goes, she's like, I'll allow it. <laughs> no objection here. Oh, yes, Your Honor. I've been looking to get pinged for a while. <laughs> Take a run at me, Cuban man. Can we get in one of the conference rooms? This guy could break me off a little oh. for a recess. Judge, if, if you if you mind being cool for a second, let us borrow your chambers. <laughs> Scene damning. Boynton Beach Detective Alex Moreno reads their X-rated conversation on the stand. Do you want my hot, tight body all over you? His monotone yes, hardly yes, matching the steamy words. Yes. Love you so much. I'm so horny for you. <laughs> Some of the stuff was kind of fucking great. Uh, there's nothing better Play than monotone. Mono- Who's got to get that? Monotone sex. Sex. <laughs> I want you so bad. Oh, my God. Take my dick, you nasty bitch. Damn. I've gone to bed every night dreaming about my pussy on your face. And really just rubbing it in there while I take your dick all the way down. To, that's hilarious. Yeah. I'm making it up. Did you see Christine lean over to the thing? Look, goes, who the fucking text is he reading? <laughs> she really peeked over. She goes, who the fuck's texting? I'm making it up. If you would have held, been holding your phone, it would have been a problem tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, she was serious. He goes, nothing. I was seeing what time it was. And Soder's got to get out of here. He's got to get back. We... I know, and so it doesn't have to get back. I mean, are we making this a three-part thing? Yes, if we I are, told you we're going to do three volumes. If we are, if we're making it three volumes, we have to make it three volumes because no, we're, not. we're so we're not even technically halfway through this video. Can I tell you this? I don't want to. Ju- we have to jump ahead. For the record, no one here knows what happened to this chick. I also, and we won't know until we watch this video together on this radio show. And I don't want to George Lucas everybody, but I think we take this from three. Six. <laughs> the other's going to be prequels. Yeah. yeah, the first three episodes were episode four, five, and six. We go back. We're going to watch one, her two, recitals when she was singing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. Hello, my baby. Hello, my baby. In a galaxy. Far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> the lightsaber. <laughs> the saber. Get the lightsaber. That's the fun word. Saber might be the best word. Lightsaber. <laughs> Yola, play my paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I, and I the could fourth. also, I could also listen to monotone sexts all day. <laughs> I want your body. Your pussy is so wet. I want it on my cock. Oh, shave it down nice and smooth so I can get my face all up in there. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad girl. I'm a real bad girl. I wish you could see my pussy right now. It's throbbing for your cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would look better. With your cum all over it. Yeah. I want to lap it up like a dog. <laughs> I like, I'm a dirty I bet, bitch. I bet uh, monotone also fragments of it, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where he just takes a sentence where he goes, oh, my God, so hard right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Huh. I'm wet as a fish as we speak. <laughs> Let's get him back on there. Alex Moreno reads their X-rated conversation on the stand. Do you want my hot, tight body all over you? <laughs> His monotone yes. hardly yes. matching the steamy words. Yes. Love you so much. I'm so horny judge, for you. The Some judge the is jerking off. Kind of the judge is like, yeah, just keep going, Alex. The judge is great. He was like, seems like an aggressive text. I don't know. I'm, I'm more for the fantasy role play type, you know? But I like it. Have you been a bad little lamb? Yeah. That's what I'd say to him sometimes. Well, would you, you mind if, thing? what if I was like a firefighter and you're like a woman that they like, needed? <laughs> My pussy is on fire. That's cool. I got a hose backed up with three days of water to Put that out. Oh, baby, I want your hot, salty water all over my face. Oh, I bet I can quench your thirst with this big old dick. Oh, yes. I can't wait for it. I am such a slut. (laughs) I'm doing chest and back today so I can really give you a good thrashing tomorrow. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I can't wait. Fuck, I'm horny. Here we go. I'm going to explode all over you. Whoosh. No, right there. Right there's good. (laughs) Whoosh. Whoosh. Was not my best moment. Baby, I love you, and I only want to 
you. The evidence with, with Mike Stanley, huge motive for why she wanted her husband out of the picture. 893 text messages between the two of them. She's shameless about the way that she oh, this DA, oh, this DA the hates the her the guts. Best. She goes, At oh. the Bonfire SXM, you can follow along. We have the video posted. She goes, oh, and this stupid bitch probably has an easy time buying pants. <laughs> She's like, I really just hate her. She's like, she probably looks cute and everything she tries she goes, on. Also, can I point to the jury? I saw this cunt eating a Whopper yeah. in the other room. Look at her. Size zero eating a fucking Whopper. I don't, I'm eating quinoa and kale. I put on 15 pounds this summer. That's all I'm saying. I'm built like Singletary in 87. <laughs> and this bitch is having straight airport food looking like she's on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. I'm just saying it's unfair. And what she wanted, Parker says, was to get her husband out of the way by planting drugs on him and calling the cops. That's Whoa. why Mike DiPolito kept getting pulled over by police. Do you think uh, DiPolito, uh, do you think the husband, when uh, he was talking to that lawyer, he was kind of like, you look familiar. You ever play middle LB for... <laughs> he, goes, did you, he goes, did you graduate from Central in 92? <laughs> Were you number 53? You can hit like a train. I thought that was you. Your best middle linebacker in all Central Florida, am I Didn't right? Did you go to Central Florida? Or with the Florida UF gave you a scholarship, <laughs> right? You a fucking beast, bro. She was trying to set him up to have his, his probation violated, to have him arrested. The sooner he gets jammed up, the sooner we can be in Paradise Island, baby. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, the babies are the best part of everything. Because you had baby, baby to baby. anything. Because he just goes, don't worry, he'll get jammed up and we'll be gone. Away from here, baby. Oh, that's so great to hear, baby. My <laughs> pants are so sticky right now, baby. I can't wait to be on top of you and feel you. Baby. Baby. <laughs> baby, I gotta go right now, but I miss you so much, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Sexually graphic messages between you and a man named Michael Stanley. I don't even know who that is. What happened? I didn't send those messages from my phone. Mike actually sent those text messages. This chick sucks. She sucks so bad. It's just making me angrier and angrier. It's almost like a race now of who I hate more, of her and Nancy Grace. What's that, Jacob? It's kind of funny, the thought that he did send <laughs> these like, the, the, two beefcakes. <laughs> yeah, the, and they're talking like that. He goes, baby, I can't wait to be on top of you, my tight body. Oh, baby. <laughs> and, he, and the guy has to read it. Baby, baby, I'm taken with the notion. To love you with the sweetest of devotion. <laughs> baby, baby. My <laughs> tender love will flow from <laughs> Amy Grant's baby, yeah, baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Her husband sent them? Dahlia claims her husband was playing games with her former boyfriend. Mike DiPolito denies it. But Parker says when Dahlia's plan to get her husband put into prison failed, she took it a step further. If she couldn't send him to the big house, she'd get rid of him altogether. Yeah, but killing somebody? Come on. Nobody's going to be able to point a finger at me. But as damning as those tapes Dude, it's so great. It's so great that she's like, I'm seriously like, no one's even thinking about me. You have to be a real fit head to understand. I tend to blend into the background everywhere I go. Girl, you make me feel real good. We can do it till we both wake up. Girl, you know I'm hooked on you, and this is what I'll do. I want to sex you all night. <laughs> you make me feel good. I want to rub you down. I want to sex you up. <laughs> TikTok, you don't stop, baby. <laughs> I rest my case. What did you do that all weekend? Just the defense rests. The defense rests. <laughs> this bitch guilty. Dahlia's trial lawyer, Michael Selnick, has a defense, and it's unforgettable. It was never anyone's intention to harm anyone. What? It wasn't a murder. Man, the Florida judiciary system is a bunch of unfuckables, huh? Yeah, it really Jesus is. Jesus H. <laughs> they really just bust in everybody that can't get it up. Oh, that Christmas party turns into a fuck fest orgy, I oh, bet. Just a bunch of loose, a pool of loose skin. Nah, uh, what happens? You get drunk and fuck Earl again? Yeah. yeah. Now I, I walked know. in. Stupid. <laughs> There's a food delivery driver that accidentally walks in and he's like, I, I can't have sex anymore. I've shut down. <laughs> I walked to another holiday party and they're oh, all the fucking smells. Me. I thought they were eating sandwiches. The yeah. smells was like salted meats. Meanwhile, just only tiny quiches. And no meats at all. No meats at all. And the smells were like that of a zoo mixed with a deli. <laughs> it's like it's like if um ham the smell was like if ham was like breeding. <laughs> it was a stunt. It was a hoax. 
It was a plot to get on television, a reality TV defense. The plot seems to thicken and thicken and then thicken again. I've seen a lot of wild and crazy defenses in my day, and this is certainly one of the wildest and one of the craziest. Reality TV. I'm a wild and crazy lawyer. <laughs> He's just coming in. I'm going to throw a knuckleball. Isn't it a shame that a judge has to actually sit and feel the stupidity of going like, uh, this guy will back me up. And like, that guy's not backing you up. He goes, that's fine. This guy will back me up. And they're like, that person's not backing you up either. He goes, oh, then, uh, well, yeah, we were all lying. It's a reality show hoax. And then the judge has to go, okay, we're going in a new direction with this. Yeah, this will take. Oh. I mean, if I was the jury, I would fucking peg a pencil at her. Yeah, <laughs> at that like, point, I'd be like, get the fuck out of yeah. here. You're going to make me sit here for more of this bullshit? She goes, sorry, it's just... I don't. I was so in character. I just didn't want Mike to know it. <laughs> yeah. So I was sending those. Set, I mean, she is such a rotten bitch. Three words to describe Dahlia. Liar, liar, liar. Yeah. Liar, liar, liar. <laughs> <laughs> Salnick tells the jury Michael DiPolito wasn't a victim. He was an accomplice that Dahlia, Muhammad, and Michael were working together to create some kind of videotape to try to land themselves as stars in reality TV. The website name is, it says, welcome to realitytvcastingcall.com. Salnick presents a computer forensic expert who found that Dahlia had searched reality shows on her computer. Well, that's not, that a, is, that's not a mind blow. That is not. How is that? That's such bullshit. She's looked at. Oh, my God. So, is that, oh, does that mean I can fuck a horse? And I'll go back and yep. be like, well, he did look up horse fucking before. Jay's internet, due to a computer forensic expert, Jay had looked up horse fucking. Although, if I've ever looked up how to horse fuck... I mean, then you could probably... That's pretty I'm damning. Pro- I'm pr- it's pretty damning. Although now, it's all I want to look up. How do you fuck a horse? How do you get him to stand still for it? You don't want that son of a bitch to buck you in the hips? What's the system? Is it's not there, worth it. Is there like a guard? Is there a fuck guard so his hip doesn't kill you? Do you go? Do you start full mounted on top of him and then just slide back until your dick hits the hole? I don't think you want to come up behind him and like you know you don't want to grab him by the haunches Listen. like you're going in doggy style. <laughs> no. I feel also, like you're gonna you're gonna catch a buck at that point. And you also greatest oh, fuck tweet that out right now from the Gothamist Long, Long Island, Island man, man arrested with sex for sex with multiple horses. His fucking I, I mug be, shot. Yeah, his mug shot. I might be crazy. It looks almost identical to. Christine's friend who got arrested for murdering a girl on video. Oh. They almost look like the same person. Did this guy go on the lamb and then start fucking horses? He goes, I got to get it out of my system. I'm going behind bars. <laughs> what can I fuck? What's the most exotic thing that I can fuck? I know. A horse. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it, I mean, it looks like the same guy did the crime. I'll tell you this, though. Back to horse fucking. You definitely can't have an open field. It's like a fast running back. You no, can't la- no point. Uh, you can't have him have an open field because they'll take off. By the time you catch him, you won't want to fuck anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, even though you can cut corners faster than a horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can going cut. for a horse fuck. I mean, I'm just thinking logistics here. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Look at this. You have the back. The two people. I mean, right? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty close. It looks like a very similar person, and that's all I know is that picture of this guy. Um, I was on the lamb. <laughs> and I knew I had some horses. Who's this chipper bitch on the stand right now? She's like, it's fun. You have to go, don't you? Well, are we almost done? Yeah. Yeah, you have to go. Yeah, you have to go. Fuck. You no, definitely got to go. Shit. All right. Well, we'll be back for more. Yeah, you want more Dipolito? Yeah, Guess you what? let us know. You let us you know if you want more Dipolito. You ready to check out? I mean, it always leads to other tangents. Uh, monotone sex thing. Oh, dude, we got the fucking... Uh, where do you approach a... How do you approach a horse to fuck it? Big Bone DA. Big Bone DA. We a lot of a lot of things we learned today. Getting banned. Uh, here's where I have to teach you. Dan Soder's going to be at the Albany Funny Bone Thursday, December 28th through Saturday, December 30th. Get your tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. And Big J is going to be at Comedy at the Carlson in Rochester, New York, Thursday, December 14th through Saturday, December 16th. Go get tickets at bigjcomedy.com. And, of course, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all that fun shit. We're I gonna, missed you this week. I missed you, too. We're right in front of my face. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, we're going to be back Tuesday with a live show. We have a best of on Monday. And for those of you campers coming to the holiday show, we'll see Can't you Can't wait to see. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun surprises. A lot of fun stuff. So uh, we love you guys. Enjoy your weekend. Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle.